little spider. Another beautiful day out here on the ranch. Today we are going to be working on welding the roof shut and welding the corners of the container together. So we're just getting all of our gear up here. Kind of sketchy. Uh, the ladder is really, really high. So it takes us a minute to get everything up and situated before we start. But yeah, so little by little, bringing all the tools up, getting everything going, and after we will start to weld the roof. A few years ago, we decided to quit the rat race and venture down a completely unfamiliar path in life. We sold almost all of our possessions, renovated a camper van, and toured the US looking for a piece of land to start our journey. After almost two years, we found our piece of paradise in the Pacific Northwest and Pacific Pines Ranch was born. Follow along as we chase our dreams to build an off-grid shipping container home and to see our projects and adventures along the way. As we like to say on the ranch, the joy is in the journey. First thing we did was remove the rebar bracing from when we placed the fourth container onto the structure. So one reason that we wear these masks is for the particulate, the dust and the metal shavings that come up when you grind or weld or anything like that. But it's also to protect our face. Uh, I'm a little bit scared of if <laughs> grinding discs breaks. I know we don't have the top of our face protected, but I've seen a lot of stuff online where people have gotten chunks of the grinding disc like in their head and stuff. So it's just like an extra layer of protection to protect our face, our mouth, our nose, and everything. And if we're really concerned, we usually wear the welding mask on grinding mode. One down, one to go. Oh, fuck, the country went down, it's amazing. Oh my god, the view, man. Do you see all the way there? I don't need to do the safety key on the guy. You will probably have no choice. So we've got on the street. Who cares, babe? The tree's gonna surprise me. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, let's uh, bring her some out. Then we go outside and we start to uh, bring the van up together. Okay. First we go to the doctor, I think I will have the bottom. You know what I mean? When you join two containers together, they only touch on the corners of the container and there's a gap between the roof, floor, and vertically between the corners. We decided to seal the gap on the roof by welding a few pieces of flat bar to the roof. We will do the same for the vertical gaps and the interior in another episode. We needed to remove the paint in order to weld in the flat bar, so we cleaned the area where I will be welding the flat bar with the angle grinder and a resin disc attachment. Next, we tack welded the flat bar in place to prevent it from warping while I weld it to the containers.
After I finished tacking it in place, I started to weld it to the containers. It's very difficult for me to do these welds because the weight of the gear on my head puts so much strain on my neck, shoulders, and back. Oh my gosh, so just finished welding. My neck is killing me. I absolutely hate welding like in the fetal position. <laughs> it's terrible. It's like so much weight on my, my head and my neck to hold for multiple hours of the day. So I'm really happy to be done. I just got about halfway done, but we had a late start today. We didn't start until like 2 p.m. So I'm pretty happy with the progress. So right now we're just protecting all of our gear because it's way too much work to bring it down the 20 foot ladder. So we're just covering it with plastic in case any moisture or dew uh, comes overnight, which it usually does. So. Happy to be done, and tomorrow is a new day, and same thing all over. This is why we don't want to remove everything from the roof. This is a 12 foot ladder, so you can imagine <laughs> how tall this one is. So it's not very fun to bring a the 60 pound welder and backpacks full of grinders and stuff up and down the ladder so everything will stay up there and tomorrow we will get back at it all right day two of welding the roof together so my aunt's already up there cleaning the spot for the second flat bar so i'm gonna go up there Get all my welding gear on, get everything prepped, tack the bar in place, and get to it.
And we'll do a second pass because the black is really hard to move, to remove. Okay, babe. I welded the corners of the container together for added strength, but also to create a watertight seal for the roof.
So, as usual, we are rushing against time and Mother Nature. It's starting to be close to the end of the day. We're just finishing up right now, doing the first coat of paint to make sure the steel is protected against the uh, corrosive salty air and the dew that usually comes. So Bayan's up there doing the paint. I am cleaning everything that we used today. I'm sure I look crazy today. It was a super long day. Uh, welded all day, cleaned everything and got the first layer of paint on. So it was a, a successful day, but woo, I am tired. So, and that's why you don't, uh, that's why you wear gloves. So just gonna go around, clean out the building side up so nothing gets wet overnight. This nature here is crazy. And yeah, tomorrow is another day. Okay. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So Viant just finished painting. So we're pretty much done for the day. Uh, just gonna go and clean the paint gun, the air spray gun, and just clean up a little bit, put the air compressor away, everything like that. And yeah, when it's dry tomorrow, I'll take the cameras up to show you what we did. So another successful day out on the ranch. Good job. Good job, babe. A plus. <laughs> you can just put them on the second level if you want. Perfect. The best way to end the day. <laughs> to end the day is right here in this hammock with the view of the ocean, except you can't really see it in the screen, but in real life we can see it. All this hard work will be so worth it when we can sit on the sofa and just watch the view and have a cup of tea or coffee and just chill for once. <laughs> Try to remember what that's like, but I forgot. <laughs> so, good successful day. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, will be another one. Just keep moving forward, little steps until the finish line. This is what the roof looked like before. And this is what the roof looked like after we finished a long two days of grind weld paint repeat to seal the roof. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to join us on our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch.